Hey, travelers. Another week, and we got rid of Troy again. He's back on the road doing uh, who knows what. But I'm here with my... Yeah, you're in front of the camera this week. Yes, I am. Yeah. Heidi Ho, Landon. Heidi Ho, Alex. Yes. It's weird having you on this side. I know. It has yeah. happened a few times, but... It has. Troy's got all the knowledge, and I... Uh, Do you have any music knowledge? Drink beer. Um, I don't know. More not, than not, Troy? More than Troy, less than you. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, you've upgraded it then, at least in my book. <laughs> I'm, uh, not, I'm not a music buff. <laughs> no. But. Well, and... and I, I really am not either. I just have a lot of useless knowledge. That's how I term it, useless knowledge. Uh, yeah, more beers this week. And this is kind of a hodgepodge of beers, although there's kind of a theme. So I was in a dilemma because I there were three barrel-aged beers in my fridge that I really, really want to drink. However, there aren't three of us sitting here, and there aren't more people behind the camera I mean, there's one, there's but, one. Yeah. but that's to take down three big barrel aged beers. They're not, they're in bombers. Oh, oh, yeah. so they're not these. No, 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 no. Rarely do I get barrel aged beers in small cans. I was going to say. Even the 16 ounce variety. That's, that's pretty special if you can get a barrel aged beer in a can like that. Um, no. So it's a lot of beer to take down and and there's still some of the work week to go. <laughs> so, you know, another time when we have a bunch of people here, we will go over some of these beers. And they're very exciting. Not to say that these aren't exciting this week. but um, So the, the first one that I have is, is from Bent Paddle. So Bent Paddle's in Duluth, Minnesota. It's one of, and I don't know, have you ever had the coffee one from Bent Paddle? I think so. Cold Press Black. So it's cold pressed coffee. Okay. And a darker beer. You know. Not all coffee beers are dark. Little known fact. Yeah, we've had a couple on the show lately. Yeah. I had I had a few coffee beers um actually this last the prior weekend. And uh some of them were in light lighter in color. They were quite nice. I think I'm gonna so uh, Bent Pedal has a new place in Duluth. It's probably not new for a lot of people that get to go out more than I do. It's It's been around for, I think, less than a year. But um, I have to go and, uh, and get my TSA pre-check this week. Oh. But surprise, surprise, it's not in a convenient place. So no. you can either go to the cities after I've already traveled... <laughs> Or go to Superior and... Uh, Superior, really? Yeah, Superior. Vicky just got her global global entry, it's the called. The clear, yeah. Yeah, she just got that, but she did that in uh, the cities. Yeah. Well, I I could probably... Maybe I should look that up instead. Oh, yeah. So you're going to be going global. I'm going global. You're going global. Yeah. Just going global, folks. Going global. They take walk-ins. They take walk-ins. Maybe I'll do that on Friday. They, they, take, they take Christopher walk-ins. That's nice. There's Very a microphone good. if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Channel so four. I was, well, and maybe maybe I won't go up to Duluth anymore if I can go over to the cities. Yeah. Well, Duluth was beautiful this time of year, though. It's true. Yes. That, now is the time of the year to go to Duluth, especially when school is almost back in. But maybe I should wait until school is actually That's true. In. Anyway, so this, this one, coffee beer, one of my favorite styles. So it's going to say that usually a coffee beer... Like, a lot of times the nose punches you in the face. This one doesn't. It, like, has no. a very lackluster coffee nose. No, and, and I think that's nice. I can appreciate the even the ones that smell, like, of heavy coffee. Mm-hmm. But even so, um, I appreciate the ones that don't. Oh, yeah, and this you get the coffee kind of more at the end. And I like, because it's not, it's, there's some beers, and some people prefer them, the coffee beers that are really mm-hmm. strong. Yeah. I like the ones that are more balanced or, <clears throat> I don't know, your, that, your that medium so, roast beer, <laughs> your if you will. roast beer, <laughs> your light, your light roast, your light yeah. roast coffee beer. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I was telling somebody that I'm like, I like it, how it's better like this. And I'm like, what? You're crazy. I just, I don't want it to taste like beer. I want it to taste like coffee. Well, then you should drink coffee. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, there's there's a nice there's a nice balance. I think you, you know the people that achieve mm-hmm. it. It's good. 
I think I was the someone that he was telling that to. Oh. I think you're crazy. <laughs> I like my beer to taste like coffee. I like my beer to taste like coffee, too, and I can appreciate I've had bad coffee beer, and I won't tell you who that was from, but, um, you know, where it was probably more like they just brewed a beer and then just emptied some coffee into it rather than, you know, took the time to, to make the two blend and meld and be one. I still fail to see the problem. Yeah, well, you know. Maybe you would have liked it. Well, I should, I I like should have the, kept some for you. I like this one. It's smooth going down, and then you get a little coffee kick across your tongue and in the back yeah. when you're done yeah. with it. And it's 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 sessionable for a coffee. Mm-hmm. And it's an ale, not a stout, which right. is... Well, maybe, we won't, maybe, we won't. That, maybe that's why that's happening. Well, it's not... So it's... Yeah, it's, it's not a stout. Stouts tend to be heavier mm-hmm. and... Um, yeah, they sit with you a little longer. So this has got that lighter, you know. Or like yeah, what I I'm trying to say it. is I enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> In a roundabout way, you enjoy it. And that's very good. Um, the next one. So we're going to go into stouts now. Speaking of stouts, mm-hmm. great transition without you actually intending to do that. Yes. Intentionaltransition.com. Um, Lazy Monk, surprisingly, makes a peanut butter beer now. It's... Mama Milk's, or Mama's... Mama Monk's Milk Monk's Stout. Milk Stout. You can say that three times fast. With peanut butter in it. And we had talked to Laos for the longest time. Like, when are you going to do a peanut butter beer or something crazy like that? And those of you that have ever met Laos probably know that, you know, he would say something to the... Well, I can't say what he said, but... He would start with... uh, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not going to make that, basically, yeah. is what it amounted to. Is I'm not going to make that. And here we are. He made it. And it's very good. Um, but who, who do you think talked him into it? That's a good question. Or did he finally decide to do it? Maybe it was own? maybe it's peer pressure. Peer pressure? Yeah. Other brewers? You know, we all we all succumb to peer pressure every now and again. Um, I have not had it out of the can yet. I've sticker. only had it on draft. So there's Mama Monk yes, right on yes. the sticker. Right on the sticker. Yeah. They usually don't have a little art like that. Well, it's they're they're changing. Them. So if you watch their Facebook page, they're they're changing their cans. How do you do that? So the can supplier that oh. made these cans for all these years. They're going to have more than two types of cans? I, oh, I don't know about that. But <laughs> they are changing the can art. It is going to look different now. So this one you get... It almost smells like a peanut butter cup on the nose because of the chocolate that's already in the beer and then a little bit of the peanut butter. Now, I don't know why. I had this in the brewery, and I'm liking this a little better than the one I had in the brewery for some reason. Yeah? Sometimes I don't that know. happens. It might might be just because... It's aged the, or, slightly. Or the, the beer I <laughs> had, because usually when I have a peanut butter beer, it's because I'm having a different beer and then... I take a sip of my wife's. True. Well, you just had coffee beer, too. That's true. So that's a better pairing than like an IPA or something. You know what we could do? <laughs> so this is this is very good. And by the way, if, if you can find it this where you good. are, I would suggest you get some. I'm going to try the peanut butter with coffee. And we'll see how that tastes. I think I will also try the peanut butter with coffee. That's the, the other thing a lot of people don't do. And I, I, I will tell you that there are a lot of places that I've been to that will be more than happy to mix beers for you. Lazy are, Monk will. Lazy Monk will. Uh, Dangerous Man will. Line and Kugels will. Is all Line about and Kugels, it. yeah, they were. They were, They would probably tell you they were the first ones to do it. Yeah, they, they um, say that all about a lot of things. That's true. Yeah. Uh, there are some that will probably look at you odd, but maybe still do it anyway. And if you go to a place that will absolutely, positively not do it, don't go back to that place. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously. Support your local breweries, Landon. <laughs> Support your local breweries unless they won't mix beers for you. Or you can encourage them to do so. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I wish there were more say. peanut butter in that. Well, we I got... think I think well, it's yeah, I know. <laughs> you need to you need to get the maybe three quarters peanut butter, quarter coffee. Maybe There's, that would be the... Len, is there not enough beer in your beer? Do There's you not know? enough beer in my beer. You know what I need in my beer? More, More beer. More beer! 
Yeah, I don't know about that one. The peanut butter or the mixing? The mixing. Yeah, I'm not sure if it works. No, either. the peanut butter is good. The mixing, I'm not so sure. It don't, it, it was me, worth a try. I don't know why, but it almost tastes sweeter with the coffee. Think so? Yes. Hmm. You don't get that? No. You just get a... Well, that's why we're not brewing this. That's true. We're just... <laughs> I would I would be a terrible brewer. But... Um, before we go to the last beer, we, uh, we went over to the cities this last weekend... And we rode the light rail, you know, the good old light mm-hmm. rail. And we stopped at Venn Brewing again. So Venn is uh, is right off the blue line. You, it's actually one of the stops. You can hop right off. Venn is right there. It's very convenient. So we decided to stop, and we hadn't been there in a while. And when they first started, they had said they were never going to brew the same beer twice. Mm-hmm. Which may still be the case because we hadn't been there in a while and all the beers I had were brand new to me. However, the point I'm trying to make is is that they are still brewing. Every beer I had was good. So how often do you go to a new brewery and then they you know, have a completely new menu and everything you have is good? Not often. Not often. Not to say that they're bad. It's just that maybe no, you don't no. like it. And, and you know. there's more potential, like, you know, like, you usually don't want to judge a brewery on its first year. True. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, having said that, too, there's a new local one in Altoona that I think we, Troy and I talked about last week, uh, Ambibulous. Yes. They're I, doing they're doing I some really go good there. beer. Yeah. And they're brand new, too. So, I, I think everybody that's opening a new place is kind of... You know where it was five years ago where they would open a brewery, somebody would open a brewery, and you would get a pale ale, uh, maybe uh, some kind of dark beer, but not like a very aggressive dark beer, and then you get like, you know, maybe one or two other ones that are very sessionable, very plain, almost a hyped up. Homebrew, the, the craft beer formula menu, basically. Right, yeah. right. Cookie now, now menu. that's now that's not the case, and I think everybody that's opening their doors knows that when they open, they need to open like you need to come out shooting, you know, guns a blazing. That things need to be really, really good yeah, from like, the get go. Why, why should you drink brew at our brewery instead of the one basically across the street? Right. Yeah. Right. And it's you not gotta, so you much have here. Something unique, because if it's just exactly, yeah, because yeah. you can. That that basic menu list of beer you can go get that at a at a, at most bars. Yeah, everybody's got it. Like like yeah. um because more and more bars are carrying more craft beers. There's bars in town here that used to have you know four taps and now they got like two dozen craft beer selection right. on tap. You know. Well, I think you're starting to see things come around again though. So you know how we started with loggers and. Uh, you know, pilsners and lagers and all those kinds of beers, pale ales and uh, but really well done ones. And then we went away from all of that. And nobody, nobody was except for a few of them. Lazy Monk was still making them this entire time, but a lot of them went completely away. And everything was double dry hopped or you know double IPAs and uh, IPA this and IPA that. Well. Now we're starting to see things come back around again, where you're starting to see more pilsners. You're starting to even even at um, Brewing Project, the place that's known for let's hop everything. They had a pilsner. Now, when I the last time I was there, it was gone. <laughs> so they they had it though. It was there was evidence of it on the board that they had had it, but. It was gone. So, Landon, so, is what you're saying is the Pilsner is the um, mom jeans of craft beer? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think those trends come back around sooner than mom <laughs> jeans did. You know, mom <laughs> jeans took well over a decade, maybe almost two decades to come back. But, it's you know, they're back. Still faster than I would have uh, assumed. Yeah, I never. It feels I, like just yesterday they had the uh, SNL sketch, I didn't, sketch that was making fun of it. Right. I didn't think they'd ever come back, but here they are. I'm not the person to be talking to about fashion, though, so there's there's that. 
Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, get you got enough pinning on this, Vicky? No? No opinion no okay. on mom jeans. No, she's not sporting them either. Yeah. I could Because it used to be jeans. like, she she's too young for mom jeans. But now it's like, she's too old for mom jeans. <laughs> you got to hit that right. Yeah. <laughs> There's that one age where you can sport mom jeans, it's and just, then well, and then maybe once you're older and you don't care anymore, you know the filter comes off and you say whatever you want and wear whatever you want. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Dynamite drop in, Monty. No, you don't get that one. Okay. Anyway, so this one has been sitting in my fridge for a while. It's called Cookies and Milk Stout. Ooh. It was festival made. Exclusive. It was made especially for festival. For those of you that don't know what festival is, it's an amazing it's grocery a, store. It's an old people grocery store in Wisconsin. Don't if you don't believe me, just go to a festival, and that's where all the old people are. We shop there all it. the time. I shop there all the time too, and I about get hit by an old person every time I go there. That's true. For those of you that are old people, I'm sorry. Great. I could go on a rant about this all day. Great meat department. You should see. <laughs> the, the meat department is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this was made by Bare Bones Brewing, especially for festival. And as far as, like, hearing things about it, I have not heard much. Do you think so, this, this is in line with her boomerang theory? Will it bring you back? A I taste don't, that will bring you back? I, I don't know. And it's hard to tell when, when somebody's... Um, brewing a beer for and i've never seen anybody brew a beer for a grocery chain before uh it's tough to tell if they had any hand in in uh in brewing it and helping brew it or if they just said hey we'd like a beer brew Brew something can it we'll put it in the store yeah so why why a cookie beer there was something about santa oh is it here is this um, when was this uh, in the store? Uh, I don't know. Could have been over the holidays for all mm. I know. Yeah. Perfect beer for the holidays. So it's sat in the fridge for a while. Okay. But it has lactose in it. And uh, molasses, baker's chocolate, and a few hundred pounds of Festival Foods chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Oh, so they, th- they threw their own cookies they in They threw their it. own cookies in there. They do have good chocolate chip cookies. I guess I've never had them. Yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna have old people come into your store, you better have chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, they're right up. Like they'll have like the specials right out in front, and you. Well, buy I'll, I'll and look like, at them the next time I'm there. It's like it's, I need to uh, buy these cookies, and I need to buy these cheese curds. That's kind of what that store is like. Huh? Yeah. You know, it's it's all right. It's not a bad beer. I concur. Yeah. That's that's my review of it. <laughs> It's it's not as sweet as I I thought it was going to be. I think I unless think it's that, tainted I by think, the coffee. I think beer. that I think that Baker's chocolate's got something to do with it, or it could be the aging. Could be too. Uh anyway, that's it for this week, and uh, may we may or may not have Troy back next week. If we do have Troy, we're going to find a third person. We're going to have some barrel aged beers because we've got a ton of them, and by we I mean me. Anyway, if you haven't already checked us out, check us out on Facebook. We actually do post something on there occasionally. We're pretty active on Instagram, so make sure you follow us on there. And then, of course, YouTube and Twitter, if you, if you so dare, I guess. Good um, luck. Yeah, good luck if you're on Twitter. But definitely YouTube. And for those of you that are subscribing and keep telling your friends, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you so much. Subscribe and save. And hit the bell if you want. Yes. That'll let you know when we do one of these again. So anyway, from all of us at Taproom Travelers, we'll see you next week, everybody. Prost. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.